ACE is a psychoacoustic test suite to assess the auditory function in children and adults with hearing impairment. It is to be used by the audiological specialist in the daily clinical practice. It is complementary to other, commonly used audiological tests. The inner ear is the human sensory organ or receptor of sound. Its function is to code sound into electrical patterns that the auditory nerve transfers to the central nervous system. To assess the cochlear function, we must understand which features exist in sound and how they are coded by the cochlea into electrical signals. Sound is a mechanical wave that can be described by three features. Amplitude, spectral content, and temporal content. The amplitude of the wave relates to the intensity of the sound. The higher the amplitude, the louder the sound. The inner ear uses different intensity coding strategies to pass intensity differences to the nerve. The spectral content relates to the frequency of the wave. A sine wave of 1000 Hz has a lower pitch than a sine wave of 2000 Hz. The inner ear uses place coding to pass spectral differences to the nerve. This is commonly known as tonotopical coding. Temporal content can be divided into fluctuations in the sound envelope and fluctuations in the temporal fine structure. Both envelope cues and temporal fine structure cues seem to convey segmental and suprasegmental or prosodic cues in speech. However, it is generally thought that envelope cues code information about manner, tempo, rhythm, and syllabicity in speech. While TFS cues play a role in the coding of pitch and place, voicing, and voice quality. Information about the envelope is carried by changes over time in the firing rate of the auditory nerve fibers. Therefore, this relates to the same underlying mechanisms as mentioned before. In contrast, information about the TFS is carried in the pattern of phase locking of the auditory nerve fibers. This is a distinct mechanism that needs to be addressed as such. From now on, and throughout the ACE instructions and help function, we will refer to these sound processing mechanisms in terms of coding of intensity, spectral content, and temporal content. Now that the elementary sound features have been defined, we want to know how they are processed by the auditory system. Like all sensory organs, the auditory system functions at three levels, detection, discrimination, and identification. The auditory system only detects mechanical waves of sufficient intensity. The lower limit of this is the detection threshold. Discrimination refers to the capacity of the sensory organ to distinguish two signals with different features. Identification is the capacity of the system to recognize and give a name or a label to different signals. There is a hierarchical relation between these three levels. Only sounds that are detected can be discriminated from one another and only sounds that are discriminated can be labeled by different names. In addition, detection and discrimination are the key features of the sensory organ itself, here the inner ear. Identification is the result of central processing and therefore a feature of the central auditory system and the cortical regions. This is very important. A aims at investigating the cochlear function. As clinicians, we want to know whether the inner ear, unaided or aided, detects and discriminates the different sound features in a normal way. The most straightforward way to find out is by looking at the detection and discrimination power of the inner ear. This is done with detection and discrimination tasks. These tests often require little cognitive processing. Some of them can be done in very young children. 
Another way to investigate the cochlear function is looking at identification. This however gives only an indirect view. In addition, identification tasks require higher levels of cognitive interaction and of linguistic knowledge. This makes them difficult for children and others with impaired linguistic capacities. On the other hand, identification tasks are often appealing and close to real-life situations. Therefore, they are often preferred in the daily clinical practice. Yet they should be interpreted with more caution than pure discrimination tasks. We now can apply this layered scheme on the different features of sound. This brings us to what we want to assess to understand the inner ear function. We want to measure how the auditory system detects, discriminates, and identifies the different features of sound. Bearing in mind that only detection and discrimination are the core responsibilities of the inner ear, while identification is a responsibility of the cortex. The detection level is sufficiently investigated by audiometry. This is the basis of all clinical hearing assessment. A aims at assessing the other levels. For this purpose, different tests have been developed. Intensity coding is addressed by the loudness scaling test. Spectral coding by the ACE classical modules and temporal coding by the prosodic tests and the tests with synthetic complex sounds. In addition, the localization test assesses a feature of binaural hearing and sound integration. Each test comes with its own help function. This contains the test-specific rational, an instructional video showing the typical test procedure, and an instructional video showing some advanced features. In addition, each test comes with a brief information sheet summarizing the key instructions. ACE has been developed by AutoConsult in close collaboration with the AIR Group. More information can be found on their websites. For other information, Please send an email to info at autoconsult.com.